And what is an awakened company to you? Yeah, so an awakened company um, is one that forever makes the community it's in better. And um, that it is, uh, it thinks about that. It absolutely thinks about uh, genuinely creating a place that in the lives of other human beings that trend, that, that, uh, interact with it that when when it's really uh, starting to make a difference that people start to think about their lives and what they do in their lives in the context of the relationship it also has with that company so you know in an ideal world if ATB was to advance where I think we're capable of advancing we have four million Albertans that somehow would say uh, this is highly aspirational would say uh, I think ATB cares so much about my my personal uh, life that they're trying to they, they they think about me they think about Catherine Bell as uh, as and how we make a difference to your life and you start to think about us as being an indispensable part of your life that you trust that anything to do around your money that we care more about you than fees. We care more about you than interest spread. We care more about you than, than a habit to have your mortgage. We care about you, what you're trying to do in your life. And there's a relationship there. And that's when you become a truly awakened company that you start to really matter. You're way more than a transaction. You're way more than a branch. You're way more than a customer care call. You are something indispensable to the movement of that human being towards what they're trying to do. And that's a very aspirational way of thinking about it mm -hmm. for all Albertans. That's why, by the way, we're, we're uh, banking the underbanked. In Boyle Street in Edmonton, which is one of our, um, our, our area that is the least economically advantaged, uh, we have the most advanced verification system for um, for homeless to come in and bank with us. They get a paycheck from somebody, typically from a government institution, but they don't carry any ID. Right. And so, um, and we don't want them walking around with cash if they don't need to all the time because they, you know, lose it or they get rolled or they spend it on things that sometime their life uh, compels them to spend it on and if we can help them. So we have a biometric identification system there, you know, and um, so that didn't come from, oh, how much money can we make off the underbank? It came from listening to the underbank and the underprivileged and found out how we can serve them. And by the way, let's not patronize them either. Let's, you know, we'll, and, and we're, a finance, we're, a, we're a profit institution, so we don't want to lose money. But we, there's a way, there's a way. We can make it economically viable, make it work for them. And, um, and so that's when I think you're more awakened when you think like that.